Hi everyone. I wanted to do a quick little early in the week check-in because I have some strawberries and some blackberries and raspberries from the farmer's market last Wednesday and I have to use them. And I didn't do it yesterday, so I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna make this strawberry spoon bread. It's a New York Times cooking recipe from somebody named Jarell Guy. Let's just talk through the ingredients here. We have a half a cup of unsalted butter, which I'm gonna melt, a cup of berries. You can use frozen, but I have fresh because I went to the farmer's market. I have two thirds of a cup of packed light brown sugar. I have a half a cup of whole milk. I need a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, which I have in here with a teaspoon of baking powder. And then I have a cup of all purpose flour. Some of you who know me really well will know that I hate cooked fruit. So let's see, let's see, who knows? Hopefully I'll like it. <laughs> so I'm already preheating my oven to 350. And now we're going to grease our Pyrex. We have an eight inch baking dish, my little Pyrex here. We're gonna take some butter and we're going to grease this. And we're gonna set that aside. Step number two is use your hands or the back of a fork, mash the berries to release their juices and stir in a third of a cup of the brown sugar and set aside. We're gonna take our berries and we're gonna mash them up a little bit and then we're gonna put half of our brown sugar into our berries and let them sit off to the side while we do step number three. Step number three, in a medium bowl, we're gonna to whisk together the melted butter, the remaining uh, third cup of brown sugar, the milk, the salt, and then we're gonna add the flour and baking powder and continue whisking until the batter is smooth. Transfer the batter to the baking dish and then make sure it's spread evenly to the corners. And then we're going to spoon the berries and all of their juices over the cake batter and put them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. All right, here's what it looks like in the pan. This is going into a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Time to take the spoon cake out of the oven. Here's what it looks like. Ooh, there's so much juice in it. Let's give this, it suggested serving it with vanilla ice cream. That was not an add-on for me. That's what it said to do. So. We got some berries, we got some cake, we got some vanilla. You know, that's not bad. That's good actually. I think that I did not bake the cake long enough, although I baked it for <clears throat> 24 minutes, so almost the full amount of time. It's very tender, it's not too sweet. Yeah, yum. That is an easy weekday dessert. <laughs> Try it, everybody.